I think the main step, one of the main steps, the first step, is for people to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. I think once you have a relationship with your our Heavenly Father and that you know that you've been adopted and you know that God has taken you in into His family and the love, the unconditional love that our Maker, our Creator has for us, then how can you not want to reflect that and show that love to other people? So to me, that's the first step. If, if you, can, you can love people, but it's not until you really have a relationship with God can you fully understand an unconditional love for people. I think the next step is education. I think there's so many people in the church that would love to do something, they just don't know what to do. They don't know where to start. I've talked to numerous and so many people through the years that have found out that my family that we've adopted, and they say, oh, I've always wanted to do that. I've always thought about that. But they, that's like saying you want to visit Australia, that you've always wanted to visit Australia, but you don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. And you have to go talk to a travel agent. You have to look up stuff on the, on, online. So I think it's the same way. That may be a horrible analogy, but I think you have to do that in life as well. If you think about adoption, if you have a heart for it, if you, if you even think about it, I've always encouraged people, take that first step, go online, uh, research adoption, talk to people who have adopted, find out information from them, and then as you take those baby steps, God will reveal to you if you're supposed to do something else.